Hello, uh, I hope you are doing fine. Uh, let me uh, take up next topic which is about uh, DC uh, shunt motor speed control methods. Okay, so there are two different methods. Is it in my hand to decide about how many number of methods are existing? No, no, it is not my uh, you know, uh, prediction or my estimation. So I can only decide the number of methods that are present for controlling the speed of a DC shunt motor based on the equation that we have. So let us take the equation of speed and try to analyze how many number of methods can be, you know, you know, can be derived out of it, right? So, the equation of speed of a DC motor, whether it is series or shunt, is, is this, okay, which can further be written as Vt minus Ia Re divided by phi. Am I right? Because I am saying that it is a shunt motor, flux will remain constant unless and until you change it with the effect of some external resistance. Okay, so now this equation of speed uh, uh, will help us to know about how many methods are present, uh, know, uh, are, are possible uh, with which we can control the speed of a DC shunt motor. So in all of this, I would make an assumption that I am dealing with this methods of speed control under constant voltage applications and because I am operating at operating at constant supply voltage and then remaining parameters right so there is IA right there is IA number one and there is uh, there is RA yes the second parameters parameter is about RA and then there is flux phi so now with reference to this particular equation i can tell that the speed can be varied by varying three parameters one is by varying ia you can do that yes you can change the speed and by varying ra we can change the speed and by varying phi also we can change the speed but the point here is uh, the, po the 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 variation in IA is actually not in our in our in our axis in our control because the uh, armature current depends on the load right when the load increases armature current is going to change and that would definitely bring the speed down because uh, as the load increases uh, IA will increase and thereby the, the the speed would go down that there is no point in that like I, I, I am operating at a constant load also I hope you are understanding me right so to define this methods to explain about this methods I have already taken a condition that I am operating at a constant supply voltage now I am taking a second assumption or a condition that my load is constant also right so when the load is constant this is going to be unchanged now I have the scope of controlling the speed by only two ways one is by controlling RA yes and then the second one is by controlling flux so with the effect of this I'm going to define two methods right one is by varying the armature resistance and the second is by varying the field flux am I right so the first method is armature so I make it as armature control armature control or armature I'm going to extend that later and then the second method I would be uh, I'll be taking field control method is that okay my dear right so this is the first method so what are we going to control in the armature armature what is that resistance or you can also control all major voltage and here what are we going to control in the field 
yes, we're going to control the flux, field flux control method, or we'll say it as a field resistance control method. So, how many methods of control we have? We have two different methods of control. One is about armature resistance control method or armature voltage control method. The second one is about field flux control method or field resistance control method. This is how I have two methods to explain or to control the speed of a DC shunt motor. Not the series, my dear, only shunt, right? Yes, let me uh, take, uh, take you to the next step of the discussion which is about the circuit diagram so how can i do that so to 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 know about the you know how it works how the method goes i need to take the circuit diagram even on the side also i'll be taking the circuit diagram right okay Right, so the circuit diagram of a shunt motor with this method Okay, there is no change in the field Okay, now I'm going to put up something here Okay, and then this is my output of the motor, speed and torque. And this is the field current, this is the armature current, this is the total current, terminal voltage, and then I connect this resistor to my armature so what am i doing in this method my dear as i said that as as the method itself says or as i explained you that i can change the speed by changing re by changing the resistance of the armature winding so can we change the resistance of the armature winding is it possible I don't think there is a way to change the resistance of the armature winding itself but we can do one thing you know what we can do we can take that windings out and that windings terminals which are taken out are now connected with a external resistor what is that with an external resistor R E A armature resistance external connected externally and they and, and by connecting that leads to this resistance and by changing this resistance which is externally correct connected you can change the total resistance of this branch are you understanding my dear so that gives an essence of changing the armature resistance right so this is how you change the armature resistance so by doing so you can get the changes in the speed is that okay right now let me take the circuit diagram on this field flux control method also right so the similar kind of circuit i will be taking all right so there is a field winding here sorry there is a this is the field winding and then this is my R major all right sorry i'm not good at drawing somehow somehow pulling things off without much drawing skills right that's fine <clears throat> i hope i'm doing well all right so i got my supply voltage which is vt yes and i got my uh, field uh, terminals here 
I forgot to mention here also, right? There is A and then A, 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 right? Double A. So when you do the experiment, you'll be uh, doing it like this, right? F, F, F. Most of the uh, kits that we have, right? Experimental setups, right? F, F, F. And then A, 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 our major terminals, right? And then here, C. See, the second method is totally based on the variation of flux. How can you change the variation? How can you change the flux? Is there any way to change the flux? Yes, we can change the flux by changing the field current, you know, the, the, the current that is flowing through the field winding. So to do that, to change the current that is flowing through the field winding, to change this current, we have put a external resistance in series with the field winding here, in series with the field winding. So that I can change the flux. Are you understanding my idea? I hope this is clear. This is clear, right? <clears throat> so let me come back to this side. In the armature resistance control method, I cannot change the resistance of the armature winding itself. So I took a external resistant resistor. I call this as a rheostat. I call this as a rheostat. Okay, in electrical terms, we call it as rheostat, which has about high rated, you know, res high. It is a high rated uh, uh, resistor. So high current rated resistance, the current that flows through this, the capacity of it would be more than the capacity of it, the, the, the current carrying capacity of it will be around 5 amperes uh, or even 10 amperes depending upon the motor rating we can consider. That's why we call it as rheostat, right? Whatever. So I, I, yeah, I, I cannot change the resistance of the armature winding. So I have connected an external resistance and then I can change this so that I can change the speed that is required to be changed. And then by, by in this particular method, I cannot change the field flux directly as it is. So I'm just connecting an external resistor so that I can change the field windings uh, current by which I can change the flux. This is very simple. There is no much logic existing in this. Okay, so let me explain this particular one properly, right? So as... Uh, so uh, you have to keep one thing in mind that uh, our major resistance is, is put at maximum point, right? This is maximum point of this rheostat. Rheostat will actually have three terminals, will actually have three terminals. One, uh, two on either sides, on both sides. And the third one will be on the top, on the, on the rod that we have. Do you remember, do you know this, how, how it looks like? It looks like this. Okay, one is terminal one is here, terminal two is here, and terminal three will be here. All right, so this is a variable terminal, right? So I'm going to keep uh, uh, this uh, variable terminal at maximum point and then connect this A to that. So somehow, if you're not understanding that also, it's not a big deal when you do it in the experimentation, your teacher will explain you how it should be done, right? So whatever, right? So the, the, the flux, the, the armature rheostat is now kept at its maximum point. So when you connect it at this particular point, it would uh, give you or it would give, it would offer maximum resistance. And this one is kept at minimum resistance point. Okay, so let me come back to this and then explain completely here and then and then understand how the speed variations will be. Let me uh, uh, take that, right? So as I already said that I'm operating at a rated, rated voltage. Let us say I gave a voltage of 230 here. So rated full supply voltage is applied. So the field flux will be produced in this at rated values. So the flux is available. And then the voltage that what you have applied here, the 230 volts is applied across your, across your armature and the armature rheostat, right? Because you have this at maximum position, you would have more voltage drop across the armature resistance connected externally as compared to the armature winding itself.
maybe because it is at maximum positions my dear because it is at maximum position you would have more voltage drop here and then less voltage drop here maybe around 200 volts will be here across and then here there will be only 30 volts i hope you are understanding my point here listen to this very carefully so there is 200 volts here and then there is only 30 so how much the speed will be according to the uh, uh, voltage that we provide VA this is called VA armature voltage you would get uh, uh, you know EB and then you know IA and then uh, EB all of that and then the speed will be less are you understanding my dear are you understanding my dear let's say you kept a resistor which is at very 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 high value of resistor resistor you kept there then the voltage drop across this may be 230 and then what about the voltage that appears here it will be zero no doubt then the outputs uh, output speed will be zero are you understanding what i'm trying to say so the initial speed what you get here is very minimum very minimum let me take that the minimum speed it starts with minimum speed and then as you cut down the resistance listen to my words carefully as you cut down the resistance right as you move it up slowly then the resistance will be reduced in this external rheostat what you connected thereby the voltage that is uh, uh, there across the voltage that is being dropped across this resistor will reduce from maybe 200 to zero because when you put it at zero then the voltage that is there across this will slowly get down to zero when it gets down to zero where is that total supply is going off it is moving and it is being applied it is being applied across the armature so the voltage across the armature will slowly rise from 0 20 30 and then 40 and then it goes up to 200 230 are you understanding my dear as you cut down the rheostat value resistance here the voltage will cut down here reduce to zero and the voltage will increase to the rated supply value to three zero volts and thereby the speed will rise from minimum maybe it is zero rpm to what is this uh, rated rated speed is the speed that is indicated on the name plate details is that okay my dear is that okay now this is about the variation of speed is achieved from its zero rpm to rated rpm okay right now what about this side this method what, what does it do how does the speed changes here right listen to this very carefully here also my supply voltage will remain constant it doesn't change is it doesn't change right so and then this total 230 is applied across the armature are you with me yes listen to this very carefully my dear so you are giving 230 volts here total 230 is applied across the armature right and then it is being splitted here and applied across the field yes applied across the field so as the voltage fully applied across the armature and the flux is also producing there you know what will happen you know what will happen because rated supply is given to the armature with the rated flux already produced listen to my words carefully when you provide rated supply voltage okay because it is when you supply when you provide rated supply voltage because the rated flux is available produced and the rated voltage applied across the armature already there so the speed that is produced here will be rated maybe you would have a little doubt here am i right not zero my dear not zero the speed is not zero the speed is not 10 percent of the rated the speed is not 50 percent of the rated the speed is directly rated rpm 
I hope you are understanding me. Why is it so? Because you are applying a 230 volt supply and then you are not introducing any resistance in series with the field winding. Thereby, the field winding's flux is not reduced anymore. It is still there. It is, it is, it is at its rated value. And then you are applying the supply voltage as it is to the armature also rated voltage is applied. So, flux is available at its full rated values and the armature voltage is also at it rated values then why doesn't it run at rated speed it runs at rated speed there is no doubt in that you got to keep one thing in mind that you, you kept it at minimum see here you kept it at minimum minimum is zero there is no external field rheostat added though it is added it is minimum maybe zero when the resistance added is zero, meaning it is not existing at all, meaning it's a simple, it is off there. So, supply, field winding, armature. So, rated voltage, rated flux produced and rated voltage across the armature. So, it runs at rated speed. Now, what you do, you slowly increase the resistance value in the field. Are you understanding, my dear? Listen to this very carefully. As you increase the resistance of this external rheostat connected in series with the field winding, you would be, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, are, you are increasing the net resistance of the field winding and that is pulling your IF down. And because IF is down, your flux will also be down. What is happening? You are increasing RF, causing your IF to go down and then that will cause your flux to go down and according to the relationship what we have, when the flux goes down, the speed will increase. My goodness, the speed is increasing. From where? It is increasing from rated to above rated. To above rated. Are you understanding the beauty of this particular method? The importance or significance of this method is the starting speed itself is a rated speed. As you go along with this method and control the rheostat value, increase the resistance of the rheostat connected in series with the field winding, that would raise the speed further beyond rated speeds. Are you understanding my dear? So it starts at N rated. It goes more than rated. Maybe there is a possibility that you would get infinite. I'm not, it's not actually authentic to say, but still it's a kind of, you know, uh, a point that would make you, it's a kind of, you know, point that would make you pull your attention, that's it. So, when do you get infinity speeds? It's not possible practically, but still, yes, if you can keep a resistance which is equivalent to infinity, which means very high resistance when you're introducing in series with a uh, field winding, that will pull the you know, flux down to the lower values, to zero values maybe, that case, in that case, in that particular uh, case, you would find the speed infinity. Are you understanding my dear? I'm going to just uh, wrap it up, right? Wrap it up and then wi wind up the topic here. So as the load, uh, as the, uh, yeah, as the uh, armature resistance increase, uh, decreases slowly, the speed will increase from zero RPM to rated RPM. And then as the field winding resistance is increased, the speed is increased beyond. So what did you understand? Method number one, I'm going to make some conclusions here. This is your rated speed. If you want to get the speeds below the rated speeds, then you should take method number one. If you want to make the speeds above, then you should have to take method two. Okay?
So if you want both, let's say you, you, need, you have a requirement where you have to change the speed from zero to you know, very high above rated speed, then you got to match these two. You got to match these two. How to match? Let me take that here itself. That would make it, that would make you very, you know, exciting to know altogether. Yes, this is how it is. Right? So, this is at minimum. This is at minimum. This is at max starting position. This is maximum this is minimum so how do you run the motor speed from 0 to above rated speed so initially don't touch this second method only touch the first method first method keep the flux constant and supply voltage constant change the supply change the armature uh, re external resistance connected in series with the armature from its maximum value to minimum value then the speed will rise from 0 rpm to rated rpm then hold it there don't change anything further in this so keeping this as it is constant or unchanged move to the second method and change the value of the uh, resistance uh, uh, from minimum to maximum then you would rise the speeds uh, above rated is that fine my dear you can get first method second method and you can match both also so this is how it is the question let like you know how can you run the motor uh, in, in all the speed ranges this method I mean both together you can explain or uh, uh, run the motor uh, from zero speeds to rated speed first method armature control method run the motor uh, above rated speed then it is going to be field flux control method which is number two I hope this will help you to understand your laboratory classes also uh, uh, and it will help you to uh, answer some questions uh, also and there are some questions given in the end card if I am not wrong please go through them and try to answer it will be a test for your comprehension thank you see you